Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have just drifted off for a second. Anyway, back to work. Yes, back to work. Back to work. Sometimes I wonder what the hell we're working for. Well, it's not money. I've seen your paychecks. <laughs> you know, Charlie, sometimes I have a fantasy about picking up my paycheck in the morning, cutting off from work, jumping on that shuttle to Atlanta. Atlantic City and just laying it, it all down, down on, on the, the crap table. Oh, you heard, <laughs> you heard that one before, huh? No, only every week for the last four years. Yeah, well, it still sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah. A few little rolls of the dice. I wouldn't have to work again for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah, we ought to do it tonight. Great! That's the first decent idea you two cheeseburgers have had all night. <laughs> one, two? You're kidding. <clears throat> I got a $100 bill in my pocket. I got some plaid pants in the car. We could be there in less than two hours. You serious? Well, why not? Nothing stopping us. Road trip! <laughs> yes! All right! Fade me, me a new diaper. Fade me, baby. Fade me a new shooter. New shooter. No. Got no. the reboot. Fire us. Don't let it be like a rock. We'd be yeah. history. Yeah, we would street. be gone. Oh. Uh, back to work. To work. I'm going. Hey, what are you doing? Home the elevator! Ah, <laughs> uh, you're not going back to work! Ah, uh, you're not men. You're sheep. You're worse than sheep. You're sheep without backbones. You sweater. So, ah! Uh... That's Charlie Hoover. He never listens to that little voice inside him. But from now on, he's gonna have to! Ow! listening to this tape. How to speak with pizzazz. Great. Look, would you call Ed and tell him I'm in? Oh, he's already in your office. When I looked in earlier, he was sleeping like a dormant volcano, so I put the coffee and donuts on your desk. You know how Ed loves his donuts? Yeah, like a bear loves honey. Like a dog loves his bone. Like a bunny loves a hump? <laughs> like a buzzard loves a dead camel. Keep working on it, Doris. <laughs> Good morning, Ed. I'm glad to see you're awake. Well, I hope you didn't have to work here all night. Anyway, I thought we could start with these fourth quarter figures. Well, I tell you, I don't know how much longer we can keep up these hours. I don't know about you, but I am dead. I, I was just with him last night. We were laughing and working, and I'll never forget Ed's last words to me. He said, Charlie, starting tomorrow, I'm going to lose some weight. <laughs> what a diet. Oh, that poor man. Oh, you remember my parakeet, Beaky? Oh, when he died, he was the only one that came to the funeral. Oh. <laughs> oh, he was such a sweet man. Oh, you know, Mr. Hoover, he really touched me. Of course. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Joyce. Don't breathe. 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 It's just Ed's way of waving goodbye. Oh, there's my watch. <laughs> you know, I lent it to him last week. He must... Get him out of here. People, people, if I could have your attention, please. 
I'd... I'd like to say a few words about Ed. First off, my staff assures me that I both liked and respected him very much. <laughs> Actually, I hardly knew the guy, but the man is dead. I say we give it to him. <laughs> also, I would like everyone to know that Ed had two weeks of vacation coming, and even though he punched out a little early, <laughs> I am personally going to say to it that his family gets his entire vacation pay. I, it's just Culbertson Industries' little way of saying, your father's dead. <laughs> now, would you all please bow your heads and join me in a moment of silence in Ed's memory. All righty, back to work. Oh, and one more thing. That pay cut last year was Ed's idea, not mine. <laughs> Doris, you've disinfected this office four times already. I'm sorry, Mr. Hoover. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm as jumpy as a slinky in an earthquake. Doris, Doris, would you stop it? Look, I know. I, I can't believe Ed is gone either. Oh, I just keep seeing him sitting there. A donut in one hand, a donut in the other. My God! What could have killed him? Hey, just let it out. Oh, 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 Mr. Hoover, I'm just a wreck. What do you say at a time like this? Plague wagon, bring out your dead. <laughs> Elliot, don't you know when to stop? Oh, come on, Jazz, that's life. One minute you're here, the next you're Ed. I mean, I, I wouldn't... Hmm. Boy, that's a very clean, fresh taste. Mm. Help yourself. Thank you. What is that, pine? <laughs> Chad, those figures you and Ed were working on, the ones I needed by Friday? Yeah, it's going to be a little Well, bit I need them by Thursday now. There's only one excuse for not getting it done, and uh, Ed already used that. <laughs> Come on, Elliot. Oh, Chaz, just... Chaz, Chaz. I know you're working solo on this one now, but please. Well, hard work never killed anybody. <laughs> <laughs> You could show a little sensitivity. I mean, a man just died here. That hurts me, Chaz. I'm very sensitive. But time passes on. You know, kind of like Ed. <laughs> I think I gotta tell that one to Dodo. Man, poor Ed. I'm really gonna miss him. Yeah, me too. I, do, I can't believe it. You know what really gets me is everyone just went back to work like nothing had happened. I mean, this is a guy we had all worked with, and he died right here in this office. Right in that chair. I, I, I feel like I got to do something. Yeah? Well, first off, you may want to send those donuts to the lab. <laughs> I feel like if I go back to work, it's like I didn't care. Great, let's quit. I need the money. Well, let's make a toast. Nothing to drink. Well, let's make some toast. Man, you're tough with this. Well, I'm upset, damn it. Hey. Hey, what's that on the floor? That's that hundred dollar bill. The one he wanted to take to Atlantic City. Yeah, he never stopped talking about that, did he? he? Wanted to take that paycheck and cut out of work and lay it all down on the crap table. You said you wanted to do something. This is it. This is a sign from God. Of course, a thousand dollar sign would have been nicer, but... Oh, God wants me to gamble my paycheck in Atlantic City. He told Jimmy Swagger to drive the hooker down the interstate. <laughs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. Mr. Hoover, they dropped off your paycheck. God, you talk about your person-to-person -person call. We're coming, Lord! <laughs> Should have stayed at work. Yeah, and Pee Wee should have run in a video. Come on, you came down here to live and have some fun, and that's memory. So let's gamble! <laughs> Shoot him! Yeah. Ship boat! Yeah. 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 You put a ship down on the passenger.
line. If somebody rolls a 7 or 11, you win. How do you know? I skimmed through the rule book in the room while you were stealing those little soaps. Come on, bet. Okay, I'll, I'll bet a dollar. I'm sorry, sir. You have to bet at least five dollars on the line. All at once? Hey, wait, what's that sound? Is that a roulette wheel? No, it's that spinning his grave. Will you bet? Come on. Okay, uh, here's five dollars. Let's go. Coming out. Coming out. Shoot, shoot the dog. Shoot the dog. Crap. Shoot. Shoot. Crap, I lost. Yeah, we yeah, welcome to gambling. Bet 10,000. Crazy, I don't have 10,000. Morgan's the house. Sell a kidney. Come on, you only came down here because Ed couldn't. And you all damn to have a good time. Oh, it's just, would you let me do it? Get off my case. Hey, all right, all right, Mr. Big Spender. I'll leave you alone. Unless I wanted to check this place out anyway. Hey, baby, ever done it with an imaginary creature? <laughs> Coming out, boys. Same shooter. Five. Coming. Let's go. Shoot. Seven. Hello. What's up, man? He was right. I should have bet more money. Here's six dollars. Same shooter. Same lucky shooter now. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's get those bets down. Hold it on. Let them go. Coming out. Now. Coming out. Let them go. Win a seven. Oh! Open up your vaults and get ready to give it away. You didn't know you were dealing with an account. <laughs> Let it ride. Let him go. Winner of seven. All right, you blood-sucking leeches. This is it. My luck's gonna change now. Come on. Roll them. Snake eyes. Crats. Loser. Oh, damn it, I don't believe this. Yeah, this is what you had in mind. I don't get it. That was a pretty good streak you had going there for a while. Oh, yeah, you could say that. Well, maybe you're lucky to change. Boy, I don't think so. Not the way it's going today. My money isn't everything. Tell me about it. You know, this guy I worked with died in my office today. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so I, you know, I came down here because I thought maybe that would cheer me up. Well, I bet I could cheer you up. Oh, I bet you could. <laughs> <laughs> well, the way my luck's going, I... Probably lose that bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd say this is pretty much of a sure thing. Uh, assuming that you haven't lost all your money at the table. Oh. Oh, I see. I. Oh, when you said you'd cheer me up, you didn't mean you'd dress up like a clown and do tricks. <laughs> yes, I did. And I guarantee I'd leave you with a smile. Oh, that's very flattering, but I. I don't think so. Okay. Well, good luck. Are you crazy? She was beautiful. Come on, she was a hooker. Now, you just hung up on these job titles, aren't you? <laughs> Look, would you just leave me alone? I lost my cash, I blew my paycheck, and I maxed out my credit cards. I thought this was supposed to make me feel better. It didn't work. I just want to take my plane ticket and get the hell out of here. Where's my plane ticket? Where's my wallet? Hey, you set up house with your watch. Oh. I've been robbed. It was that hooker. Was it good for you? Well, what do we do now? Money for the blind? Money for the blind? Avenue. Oh, look! We're saved! They got the adult channel! Oh, what's on? Double feature, city liquors, and driving Miss Daisy crazy. That's where I saw you! You were Pepito, the chicken boy! Now, anyway, I'm happy. Well, why don't we call room service and order some popcorn? Well, you're a tub of fun on vacation. What am I doing here? Ed dies, and I end up here, broke, in Liberace's tool shed. See? You're already getting your sense of humor back. Oh, I don't want my sense of humor back. I want my wallet back, and my watch, and my plane ticket, and my sanity. I want this. I want that. It's all about you, isn't it, Charlie? Remember we came here for Ed? I mean, we should be out having fun. Gamble some more. 
I haven't got anything left to bet. Unless I squash you up and stuff you in a slot machine. Yeah, careful, you might win. Then it'll be a hundred of me. Huh? I'm tapped out. What do you want to do? Go out and see the Pointer Sisters? No, nah, but we should go out, meet some women. I already met one. She stole my watch. Hey, and lost his watch. You don't hear him complaining. Well, I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not doing anything. First thing in the morning, I'm going to find some way back to New York City. But right now, I'm going to stay right here under these covers before anything else can happen to me. Oh, don't look at me. I'm not answering it. Mr. Hoover, this is the hotel manager. Oh, great. I wanted to talk to this guy. What happened to our fruit basket? What about the mints on the pillows? Shouldn't there be more stuff here we can steal? <laughs> yes, what, what can I do for you? Our computers were down when you checked in. We ran your credit card for approval. It was rejected. <laughs> no, it doesn't get better than this, does it, loser? <laughs> we need another credit card. Look, I am so tired. Can I just take care of this tomorrow morning? You wouldn't be trying to beat us out of a room. No, 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 of course not. I... <laughs> Mr. Hoover, you might have heard that we are no longer controlled by the mob. The question is, do you feel lucky today? Oh, Ed, you don't know what you're missing! <laughs> Could you give me some change? Maybe just a, a dollar, Eddie. Miss, are, are you driving back to New York? Are you headed at least in that direction? I could do your taxes for ten dollars. Fine. Oh, this is so humiliating. Uh, excuse me, sir. Are you playing this machine? Oh, no, no. I'm just sitting here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to either play or give up the seat. You've already got all my money. I'm sorry, sir, but you still have to play or move on. Oh, look. My friend died. I left my job. I lost all my money. I can't get home. I got kicked out of my room. I didn't even get a chance to see the end of driving Miss Freaking Daisy crazy. I'm tired. I am upset. I just want to sit right here on this stool and not gamble. Because, as you remember, I have no money! I work! My pockets are empty, huh? Empty? Oh, empty, 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 em empty. Empty? <laughs> You been holding out on me? Come on. Where? Home. Wait, that's that's Ed's hundred. He's not gonna need it. Oh man, you don't get it. That's not just another hundred dollar bill. You holding your hands all that's left of Ed's dream. Poor guy never got to live it. Well, what what if I lose it too? What's the difference? This isn't about money. This is about having some fun while you're still vertical. Yeah. But you've been walking around whining. I lost my money. I lost my money. Hey, there's a lot worse things you can lose. Well, you take that hundred dollars. You can crawl back in your life, or you can stand up and take another shot and roll one for Ed. All right, a hundred on the seven. Two hundred on the seven. Hell, put it all on the seven. Wet. Ed! 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 Wake up! 
Wake up, Ben! They're going to profit some symptoms. Uh, you're alive? Uh, yeah, uh, barely. Does anybody have any donuts? Spent the night in the office. Uh, well, it just doesn't get any worse than this. Want to get back to work? That's the spirit, Ed. Work till you drop. Believe me, the company appreciates that. No, you don't. Of course we don't, but you're not supposed to know that. Ed, you and I have been working too damn hard. Elliot, you're gonna get your report when it's ready. But right now, Ed and Doris and I, we're all going out for breakfast, huh? Yes! You can't do that. This is company time. Who died and left you in charge? Nobody died. And I'm not in charge of this company, but I am in charge of my life. And I say, we're all going out for breakfast. Where do you want to go? Atlantic City? Yes! Guys, I know someplace that's closer. Prices are low, it's... Oh, I should have made that last bet. I never should have walked away. All the way home, I kept hearing this little voice saying, go back, go back. Yeah, that was me. Well, why didn't I go back? Well, you tried, but when you grabbed the wheel, the pilot kicked you out of the cockpit. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You know, you're getting a little obsessed with this gambling. I mean, I'm all for getting out of control, but if we're going to get hot and sweaty and blow all our cash, I'd rather it involve something in spiked heels that could take a cab home afterwards. <laughs> you're right. Ooh, that was fun, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I gotta be careful, though. Some people get addicted to gambling. Hey, man. Didn't have time to finish my work. Got a chopper waiting outside. Three grand in my pocket and a crap table calling my name. Doris, Doris, Doris. <laughs> Chances are I'll be back by Monday, but don't bet on it. Come on, baby. Doris needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> sure, this New Year's Eve, you could watch the ball drop in Times Square just like last year and the year before. Or you could rock in the new year with Guns N' Roses, Sam Kennison, and Penn & Teller. This Tuesday, Fox presents a 90-minute special, New Year's Eve Live, starting at 11, 10 Central and Mountain. What a way to start the new year.